Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick introduction to previewing a render in Terrigen 4. As you are creating a scene in Terrigen, there are many times when you'd like to get a quick idea of what the final render is going to look like. Today we're going to cover three possible options to achieve this, using the ray traced preview, low quality renders, and render cropping. We'll be starting off in one of the Terrigen preset scenes. The first option is the simplest. Just position the 3D preview, and use the buttons at the top of the window to enable the effects you'd like to preview. For example, I'd like to look at shaders, atmosphere, and lighting. Then click the Ray Traced Preview button and wait for the preview to finish rendering. Another option is to come over to the Render tab, select our render camera, and adjust the settings way down. For example, we could reduce the detail to 0 0.1 and the anti-aliasing to 1. There are also quality settings for atmosphere, clouds, and objects that you can reduce if needed. We'll also reduce the image size. Now, when we render, we'll get a fast but low quality preview of what the final scene will look like. The last technique we'll talk about today is render cropping. This is especially useful when working on the finer details of a scene, which don't show up well in the other previews. Let's bring our render settings back to normal. And go to the crop tab in the render settings. This will let us select just a section of our scene to render. You can change the crop area either with these sliders in the left pane or by dragging this red box in the 3D preview. Let's select just a small snip of the scene here and render it out. You can see that we can use this to relatively quickly get a higher quality preview of a small piece of the scene. This is especially useful for things like clouds and water that might otherwise take a long time to render. There are variations on these methods, but using all three of these techniques together will help you get to a final scene much more quickly than repeatedly rendering the whole scene at full quality.